We are getting to crunch time in the NASCAR Winston Cup playoffs as today we head to the second race in the round of eight, the Homestead Miami Speedway, which this season is probably the biggest wild card it has ever been. Progressive banking, new surface, new track layout, in the corners. These drivers are going to have a handful today. Last Saturday at Texas Roval, Jimmy Johnson became the first chase contender to punch his ticket into the championship four. Who will join him today? Let's go track. Track side. Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Ford 400. This is a relatively new track on the NASCAR circuit. Tell us about it, Barney. Well, with the new additions this year, I expect a different race than we're used to. Usually speeds are relatively tame due to the flatness of the racetrack, but with the new banking added this year, you can expect speeds to be much, much quicker. The 64 car will try to use this race to close in on the points lead. Gaining on the leader is tough when you are in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Jack Sprague has been struggling at the speedways this season. Boy, that's the truth. That makes it even harder to focus on race day. He needs a good finish today to regain some confidence in himself. Dodge. 
Starting the race from row 21 will be the Kellogg Chevrolet and the Pinsel Chevrolet. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the Otoban Ford. Those are your 43 drivers that are going to be taking the green just shortly after 3.45 p.m. Eastern. There was concern of weather in the area. It has gone away and paved way to a beautiful Miami afternoon. Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson on the front row. Could this be a uh, another stepping stone for another Hendrick Motorsports driver to punch his ticket in? Because this is the last, this and Martinsville stand in the way of possibly making the championship four. The chaos of Martinsville plus the unpredictability of the new Homestead Miami Speedway. I think we're going to have some, be in for some fun today. Jeff Gordon brings the field down. We are racing at Homestead. A little bit of contact there. Looks like Kevin Harvick hit the, got loose up in turn four. And Jeff Gordon gets five bonus points today. The top four as it looks, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon. Looks like Tony Stewart's up there. And Dylan Merway. Dylan Merway is holding on just by a couple points. Just re also a reminder today, Kurt Busch is... Still in that hole after that poor finish last week at Texas. So he's looking to have a good performance today. This was a side of – he was the winner of the 2002 running the this event. The last time Homestead was on a flat – was a, had a flat layout. As we have a new leader out front, Mark Martin, the six car. Whoa, Dylan Moe is wickedly loose. He almost crashed that car in turn three. Luckily, he saved it. And great heads-up driving by Ward Burton. Merwitt. Benson chases him down. Oh, nearly a big moment there. Johnny Benson almost takes out Dylan. I don't think Dylan appreciated that one. He's you have to do something about getting by him because he got him. He hit him in the corner. And you hit a guy in a corner going 190 miles an hour. That's a good way to wreck. And that could have been huge because Dylan Murway is a bit close, especially when it comes to uh, the final four. He's up there. Oh, contact. Harvick up the track. Johnson looking down low, and it looks like Johnson's going to take the lead coming out of turn two. You can put Jimmy Johnson to the point. Dylan Murray is going to take the two Gibbs teammates three wide. Tony Stewart and Bobby Labonte, Dylan to fourth. Two Fords, two Chevrolets. Making up the top four. Labonte goes high. Stewart goes low. Gordon is in the middle. Comes Dylan out under Dale Jarrett to take third. As ooh, almost a big moment there for Dylan Murray. Here comes Stewart to take third. That was all Jimmy Johnson needed to see as Johnson begins to pull away.
You knew Tony Stewart was going to be a strong fix and possibly winning in this race today. He did advance to the round of eight. And he won the first two runnings of the homes of uh, the Ford 400. He won the 1999 event, and he won here in 2000. You can look for him to have a very strong piece of uh, work under his car. Mark Martin trying to take second from Stewart. Jimmy Johnson is settled into an early rhythm today here in the in the lead here in the Ford Foreigner. Dylan Merway closing in. Got a wickedly loose car. Can move Dylan to the point here. New leader at Homestead. If you remember back to the NASCAR Thunder 2003 season, Jimmy Johnson won the championship here. You can look for him to have a fast hot rod under his piece. He won the Texas road course earlier that just last week to lock himself into the round of four. So he's using this to as sort of as a test race for Atlanta since it's an intermediate racetrack and we're going to be running under the lights in that one. Looking through the rest of the field, Kevin Harvick was uh, talking about a small tire rub in the left rear in that car. That uh, might have something to do with uh, might have that early contact between him and Dylan. Doesn't seem like it'd be a whole lot of issues there. Top five, as it reads, Dylan Murway, Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, and Ryan Newman ran out the top five. Excuse me a sec. And think within a span of probably four laps after Dylan Merway passed Jimmy Johnson, he's opened up to almost a second and a half. With Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, and Jeff Gordon battling further back. So far, all the 43 cars are still on track here in the Ford 400. Dylan Merway is kicking it in overdrive. 
here. He's got a little over two second lead as laps click off in the first stage of this race. Well, almost two seconds now. This was a member of Dylan Merway got into the championship for ironically winning at Texas, the Texas Roval. And he came here and got into multiple crashes throughout the day. And that race was basically used as motivation for him throughout the season. If he wins here, he's automatically locked into homes in Atlanta a couple weeks, uh, one week from next Saturday. Or a couple weeks from Saturday. From today. Laps continuing to click off here in the Ford 400 from the Homestead Miami Speedway. Jeff Gordon has made his way up to second. He is the new fixture out front. Remember, in that big win, dominating win in Atlanta that we usually talk about when you're talking about Dylan Merway's season, Jeff Gordon was behind him pretty much the entire way. Only difference was he was behind him by a very large margin. Jimmy Johnson got well out of the groove after him and Mark Martin might have had some uh, contact. In fact, this is what uh, Jimmy had to say. All right, in, in and out. In and out. Oh, hang on to that thing, baby. No, don't got any damage. Keep going. You're doing good. Earl, please find the spotter in the six and ask him what the fuck that was for. You're doing good, dude. You still got a fast car. You're you're automatically in a homestead. Just keep gathering notes. Don't destroy our car because we're bringing this car to homestead to Atlanta. In a couple weeks. You're still fast, man. Just regroup. Get that, that six car has been driving like a dick for the last couple weeks. Regroup. You're doing good. And you know, for a young driver like Jimmy Johnson, had just having that presence of voice on the on that pit box, a guy like Chad Knauss, you know, it, it can put a driver at ease because normally – one driver accidentally gets loose and both of them slide up the track. Usually the driver's saying, oh, I'm going to wreck the guy. I'm going to go find him in the garage after the race. You know, Chad Master says, you know, shake it off, man. Get get back into, in, into a rhythm. Don't let him throw it, throw it off. And go and get this, these guys. He's got a little over four seconds to make up if he wants to catch the hot rod of Dylan Merway. There's a slow car in turn four. Coming to the start finish line. Carl it looks like the 26 of Kevin Grubb. Jimmy Johnson has made his way back to fourth. He's a little over four seconds away from Dylan Merway. Dylan just got out of turn two. He's halfway down the back stretch, flying under that Miami sun. Twenty-four laps complete in the Ford Four Hundred. We have ran every single one of them, caution free. Dylan Merway is a fast little hot rod under that in that Chevrolet. Could he be the one that goes to victory lane and possibly punches his ticket to Miami? He is about to begin green flag stops. Gordon, Martin. Oh nope. Dylan stays out. He doesn't pit.
And it looks like he's down there by himself. Sterling Marlin blew a, a motor, and I believe Dale Jr. may have had a problem as well. If so, that's going to be a big blow for him in points. Base car is off. Dylan Murray is now a lap down. He has relinquished the lead to Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick. A little fat ass hot rod under his machine. By the way, Earnhardt Jr. and Sterling Marlin, by the way, Jr. is a chase driver. He is uh, on pit road. They are looking at possible engine issues with that car. So it looks like Jr. will be in a must-win situation heading into Martinsville next week. And several drivers are heading down pit road. Bobby Labonte, Ricky Rudd, come to mind. Rusty Wallace is also a lap down. So if a yellow comes out, it looks to me like Dylan Murray would be the, if he can get to the leader, he would be the car that gets his lap back. until the leader laps the rest of the field. Looks like the leaders will be heading to pit road. And still no way will should take the lead the next couple laps or so. Tony Stewart to pit road, Ryan Newman to pit road, and it looks like Jeff Gordon to pit road as well. And Dylan Murray will take himself back to the front. Looks like you see Biffle and probably a couple other cars from the pit lane. And then here they go. The leader is on pit road. A couple more cars are on pit road. Looks like Dylan's going to get by the lap car of Stanton Barrett without any issues. And Dylan Murray will take him, put himself back in the lead here. Matt Kenseth, Jeff Green, Robbie Gordon will get them their service for the day and head back onto the racetrack.
Mark Martin will lower two and a half seconds lead back to the leader. Dylan Murway is closing in, probably on lapping the 16 and Biffle. Delmer is probably going to be credited with leading the most laps here if this keeps up. Because he's just flat dominating these people as Biffle crowds him a little too high. Dylan Merway trying to look for a way to get by Biffle. And he's blocking him. And he does have the momentum. Can he clear him going into three? Biffle still holds on on the bottom. Dylan Merway trying to pin him down. Side draft him off the corner. And Dylan will take the lead. A tell the 16 spotter appreciate his driver blocking me like an idiot. I mean, I'm literally 10 miles an hour faster than when I'm going so far up his ass I can see inside his car. Stay cool. Come on. Stay cool. I don't need any of that. Just stay cool. Don't do anything stupid. Jeopardize us. <clears throat> Wow, Biffle's racing him hard. Uh, you saw him there. He's trying to leave as little room as possible. Biffle charges in. Yet Dylan seems to be a lot faster going up the track. And it looks like he's going to clear him this time. He's had him cleared. He just can't quite complete the... Pass. Murray moves up. Biffle stays pretty much on the apron. <laughs> Dylan Murray is still he's his lead compared to growing is kind of stalled out a little bit. And more cars are on pit road. Probably for their second round of stops. Casey Mears and Ken Schrader coming off pit road. Dylan Murway has not relinquished the lead ever since he passed Jimmy Johnson all the way back on lap eight. At Jeff Green getting onto the track. A little bit of a tight squeeze. Nightmare for Dylan. He negotiates all three of them pretty effectively. Oh, Green with a little bit of contact going into turn one there. Nothing too major. Dylan charges on the bottom, and he's going to clear them both. Jeff Gordon with some, he was third, and it looks like he's fallen out of the top five. Harvick and Stewart. Kevin Harvick has not won a race this year. He'd like to get at least one victory for Pride before the year's out.
Her way of getting up in the green up the track there. And I think that was a. Uh, he didn't appreciate that move from Mark. Kind of similar to what happened between Martin and Jimmy, except those two didn't get sideways. Bit of a scary moment there for Bill and Merway as he slid down the racetrack quite a ways. Saved that car, somehow kept his three second lead. Had to really jam on the brakes to avoid sliding into the wall. Bill and Merway all over the back bumper of Mike Skinner. Mixing it up with several lap cars, not what Dylan Norway wants to see. Bill Norway's got three sec a three second lead with the way that at his cars are getting tighter and tighter each lap. That three second lead will probably evaporate. Michael Waltrip has made his way up into the fifth spot. As Dylan Murway has earned the most, led the most laps in this race, he is looking to add to that total with a win here in South Beach. Tony Stewart has moved to second. Here comes Dylan. Closing up on Tony Sadler. Trying to put him a lap down. Merway. Oh, Merway into the wall. He's just getting tighter and tighter. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold on. Hit now. Here comes Merway to pit road. For his green flag stop of the uh, final stop of the afternoon slide for the evening. So right now the final four just an update. As it stands, it is Jimmy Johnson, Dylan Moway, Tony Stewart, and Jeff Gordon in a battle with Kurt Busch. Which, if you look at where things stand, they are both apart by one point. It looks pretty likely that unless something drastic happens, that final spot could be big heading in a in the Martinsville. Could come down to a bumper. The final stops of the afternoon. Bill Murray has locked up the award for leading the most laps.
And Bobby Labonte getting pushed by Dylan Merway has helped open the gap to two points between Jeff Gordon and Kurt Busch. Gordon is in. Kurt Busch is not. Kurt is having a solid rebound day. However, could that rebound be enough? Gordon trying to push his way to the top five, get past the lap car, Kenseth. And Gordon gets pushed to the third spot. Harvick trying to follow through. Remember, Tony Stewart is also one of those drivers on the outside looking in. As well, he would like to have a win. Here comes Stewart. What will Stewart do? Martin's held up by Skinner. Dylan needs to pat make this big move. And without question, Stewart back to the point. Dylan is sideways, saves his car. Merway trying to find a way by Mark Martin. A lot of lap traffic there. Tony Stewart, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, the top three. And Mark Martin's going to spin on the front stretch right in front of Jeff Gordon. Ooh, oh, that could have been big. Watch the, how close it was for Gordon. Martin comes down, and wow, that, that could have been a lot worse for several people. Green flag is back into the air. Dylan Merway, unfortunately, will re did not get to Tony Stewart. As we are at the 10 to go mark. The leader right now is Michael Waltrip, who stayed out. That could be a huge way to spoil this bracket heading into Phoenix to Martinsville next Saturday. And then going to Atlanta at the championship four. This could spoil the that caution probably could have spoiled that bracket for a lot of people. And Merwag saves that car from nearly crashing in turn four. Nadu almost took out Dylan Merway there. This might get interesting. Waltrip is your leader. If we do get a yellow, this race is effectively over. Leaders are heading into pit road. Question is, do, do the actual le leaders have enough?
So Tony Stewart is credited as the leader as of right now. Four to go for Tony Stewart. Could Tony Stewart become the second driver to punch his ticket to Miami? Jeff Gordon continues to pad his points cushion over Kurt Busch. Mark Martin had tried to take the lead. Three to go. Going up, goes going high. Whoa. This could mean here comes Harvick. Harvick to the point. Here late at Homestead, Harvick takes the white flag. Will Tony Stewart get to him? Coming out of down the back stretch. Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, neck and neck. Harvick takes the top spot. Out of turn four. What has been a quiet season for Kevin Harvick has given him his first win. Is there's a little bit of contact coming across the line. Burton gets hit by Kyle Petty. The 64 car may have some friends out of the track after this one. Yeah, it's good to see drivers work together out there, even when they aren't teammates. This is Joe Moore for Barney Hall saying thanks for joining us for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. So long. We'll see you next week at the Martinsville Speedway. And Jeff Burton and Dylan Merwig, you saw those two on the backstretch. I don't think Burton was too happy with that little move. We'll uh, check in on that in a few moments. So Kevin Harvick is the winner today at Homestead. Tony Stewart finishes second. Ricky Rudd finishes third. Matt Kenseth, Mark Martin, Jeff Burton, Johnny Benson, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and Kurt Busch right out in the top ten. Remember, Jeff Gordon led seven laps today. Kurt Busch led none. So, as it stands, Gordon will hold the final spot heading into the championship, the elimination race next Saturday at Martinsville, beginning at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Jeff Gordon has a six-point gap. He led the seven laps, plus he finished ahead to the 97. So, it is Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Dylan Murway, and Tony Stewart who are in. Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Ryan Newman who are out. Ryan Newman had a overheating problem early in this race. He has never recovered, so Ryan Newman and Dale Earnhardt Jr. are in the basement as of right now. Gordon, Johnson, Murway, and Stewart are the four drivers who are in the championship four as of right now. Jeff Gordon has a six-point gap over Kurt Busch. 
technically, if you didn't lead those seven laps, it would have been even tighter. Like, cut that in half, basically. Your weekly awards. Jeff Gordon won the pole. Dylan Merway led the most laps. Matt Kenseth passed the most cars. Jeff Gordon had the fastest lap. Christian Fittipaldi was the best rookie. And Jerry Nadu made the best pass. Jeff Gordon has earned, earned his fourth pole. And Chevrolet has locked up the Manufacturers Championship with Kevin Harvick's victory earlier today for 2003. What a swan, what a swan failure for Pontiac only amassing 113 points that season. One race separates eight drivers from the championship. We have had no Pontiacs visit Victory Lane. Several Chevrolet, several Ford drivers. And these, well, with Harvick being, the, being eliminated after Talladega. He is the second non chaser to win a race in the playoffs, so. Only one spot is certain heading into Martinsville, and that is Jimmy Johnson. Who joins him? Next Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Find out.